Do not get an iPad 12.9 inch. Today I'm gonna to give you guys three reasons why I did not like my iPad 12.9 inch at all, and I actually just sold it recently. I'm also gonna share with you what I actually bought to replace that iPad, okay? Now keep in mind, this is coming from someone that uses an iPad as their primary device. I have a MacBook Air, I have another MacBook Air, I have obviously an iPhone, I have several iPads and whatnot. The iPad is my primary device over everything, okay? The iPad is my go-to. It's the one I use way more than I use my phone. I use it way more than I use my Macs, okay? This is my primary device. And also keep in mind that I came up with the idea of, oh man, it would be awesome to have a really huge iPad way before Apple ever even announced they had a big iPad, okay? I thought, wow, it would be so cool to have a huge iPad screen. I used to tell my, my wife, who was my girlfriend back then, I used to think, wow, how cool would it be to have a giant iPad? She was like, I don't know about that. I was like, that's so cool, okay? So I was super excited about this and about six, seven, maybe eight months ago, I buy an iPad Pro 12.9 inch, brand new, um, the second generation model, okay, top of the end line and whatnot. And um, needless to say, I didn't like it, okay? From pretty much the first month, I did not like this device at all, guys, okay? So let's get into the three reasons why I didn't like it, okay? This first reason is 98% of why I decided to end up selling that iPad recently, okay? And it comes down to, it was flat out too big, okay? Too big. That is the bottom line. This is 98% of the reason why I decided to get rid of it. It's too big of a device to be a handheld device, okay? It's basically, if you own a MacBook Air, basically imagine carrying that MacBook Air around and trying, and I'm talking about a MacBook Air, the 13.3 inch one, Imagine carrying that around and trying to use that as a handheld device. It's just ridiculous, guys. It's just ridiculous. It's, um, it, in my opinion, it's not worth it, okay? Some of the apps I tried for video editing and photo editing, they were okay, but I still preferred to do it on my Mac, okay? Way more than I preferred to do it on that iPad. So for the reasons I ended up getting it, I ended up not using it. And then I found for like general use, like talking about just surfing the internet, talking about looking at apps, you know, looking up stocks and things like that, the majority of times I usually spend on a device, I was using my 9.7 inch iPad way more, okay? Even though that was three years old at that point, my there was a iPad Air 2. I was using that still like 90 plus percent of the time and I was using my other iPad, so, you know, such a smaller amount of time, okay? It was just flat out too big, okay? It's, it's just too big of a device to really use as a handheld device, which is really what it is at the end of the day because if you're, if you're using it, you, if you're thinking about, you know, why not get something stationary, then you might as well get a laptop or something like that, okay? Um, so, too big, that's that's a big thing. Also, um, a lot of the apps came in a little bit blurry, okay? They, a lot of the apps came in a little bit blurry. A lot of the apps I would use, you know, for instance, uh, one that I, I you know, it was very consistent on was the Creator Studio by YouTube. Like, like that app looks perfect on a phone, on an iPhone, it looks perfect on a 9.7 inch iPad or a smaller iPad, but then you go ahead and you use it on the iPad 12.9 inch and it was just coming kind of blurry and whatnot, and there were several apps that seemed like they were just not optimized for a 12.9 inch, uh, basically, iPad. And um, it, it almost seemed like, I don't know if you've ever downloaded an app, like say you download Instagram on your iPad, but it's really for iPhone. You know, it looks kind of like weird and looks blurry. There were some apps that actually came up like that, okay? So um, just a lot of apps were not optimized for a 12.9 inch screen, and they just seemed a little blurry and just like not in focus the way they should be and whatnot, okay? And the third reason is because it took forever to charge, okay? Charging was a, a long, long process with that iPad. I think it's just because they load it with batteries because it's a huge screen. We're talking about almost a 13 inch screen and they still need to have that, you know, eight to 10 hours of performance time and whatnot, which was pretty consistent, but to actually charge it, my goodness, that thing took forever. I would charge it and I'd be like, oh, it must be done. I'd go look at it 52%. Oh, it must be done 74%. Oh, it must be done. Oh, it's at 90%. It's almost there, hallelujah. The charging on that iPad took forever, guys. It took forever. So I ended up selling it recently and I bought a new iPad, okay? I bought a 10.5 inch iPad uh, Pro and the second generation and it is absolutely phenomenal. This is the top of the end iPad you can get right now and I absolutely love it. The size, everything about it, you see I can palm it in my hand like that, that's a beautiful thing. I love to do that. Um, it is perfect. It's got all the top of the end specs, everything that my iPad Pro second generation had, the 12.9 inch version, this has got those everything. The only difference is the screen is smaller, okay? Batteries are smaller. Everything is optimized for this iPad, top of the line, and I am absolutely loving it. So needless to 
say I would not recommend the 12.9 inch, even if you're someone that's a creative. I'm a creative too, okay? I, you know, produce, I mean, if you don't already know, I have the financial education channel, it has like 170,000 subscribers. Like I do video for a living in photos and those type of things. And I can tell you that I would much rather do it on that 10.5 inch iPad than the 12.9. So just in my personal opinion, if you're looking to get an iPad out there and you're wondering, you know, you want something top of the line, Get the 10.5 inch version, do not get the 12.9 inch version. It's just, it's not nearly as good of an experience. So that's my opinion on it. And um, that's kind of how I feel. Someone that owned it for over six months and someone that really was like, like, like wanted that. Like I really wanted that. And to be let down, it was just, it was too much. So if you're ever thinking about getting one, like go to the, go to just, I would highly suggest this. Go to the Apple store and you know, spot up there and just use an iPad 12.9 inch for an hour. Okay, just go to the Apple store and do that for an hour and hold it for an hour. Don't put it down, just hold it for an hour and see how you like that, okay? Uh, I wish I would have done that. I went to the Apple store before and saw them and just picked them up for a second and put it down, but I never actually like really used it for any length of time. Go to the Apple store, use it for an hour and see if you still really like it. I can bet you any money that the majority of you will not like it once you've actually spent some time around it and spent, you know, holding it for an hour or whatnot. So I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this. Let me know your opinion. If you actually own an iPad 12.9 inch, let me know if uh, I changed your mind to the 10.5 inch version. I would love to hear from you guys in that comment section. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.